so welcome back and time for another fun experiment. This one I think is really rather special and I enjoy demonstrating this to people. What I've got here in front of me is a, a loudspeaker like the ones you might have in um, large uh, loudspeaker cabinets. But of course normally they're mounted um, in the vertical plane, not horizontally. Or you might have two of them on a band and that's what you've got as your, as your headphones. And then here I've got a signal generator. Signal generator being the sort of thing you might recognise as making all those sort of funny sort of Doctor Who type sounds or um, the sounds you might remember from um, TV programmes like The Clangers. So um, there I am showing my age again. Um, but the first thing I thought I'd do, um, which you may well have seen done before, is turn the signal generator down to a low frequency. Um, and here's a ping pong ball. Put the ping pong ball on and just uh, turn up the amplitude and it's a very low frequency so all you can see is the loudspeaker perhaps going up and down ever so uh, slowly but if I turn the frequency up it'll go up further and further or at least more rapidly per second um, with this loudspeaker and I'm just going to turn the frequency down because you can't hear that that would have been sort of uh, infrasound and go to a frequency that's a little bit higher and you'll notice it's not very loud in fact if I catch the ping pong ball, I'm not sure you can actually hear that. It's a kind of low rumble. Uh, but you can see the amount of energy that's contained in that wave. Um, and it's hammering the ball quite hard. We'll turn the frequency up. And we lose the ball. It kind of disappears off it to show you um, just how much energy is being given to the ping pong ball. And that will be happening to your eardrums. Uh, I've lost that on the floor now. And that will be happening to your eardrums if you um, put your ears too close to a low frequency uh, loudspeaker. Um, you're actually pushing them in and out. Um, very rapidly. Uh, but it's something else I wanted to show you today which is rather unusual um, and it's combining uh, two interesting elements. Um, not just the loudspeaker and its signal generator but um, we need Bjork for this one, Bjork the bear. And uh, we'll do a little bit of animal testing. So um, if he's in agreement uh, we'll put Bjork on the loudspeaker and one of the reasons I'm wearing my black jacket is so that you can see him and we'll just move him up and down a little bit. You could probably see him rising and falling um, gently at the moment. Um, I'm reminded that there's a problem here um, that some pilots have, that if they move up and down in the aeroplane, particularly a helicopter with the rotor blades going, if their frequency of the rotor blades is about right, it's very difficult for them to talk um, and you get some rather odd effects. So what I thought we'd do is see the effect of turning the frequency up on Bjork. So I'm going to go for a high amplitude, so that's as loud as I can make it. You won't hear it yet because it's uh, below the range of human hearing and I'll just turn the frequency up and he bounces a bit more and bounces a bit more and bounces a bit more and then you might notice something rather unusual happening it begins to wave at you which I rather like that's why I've got the black jacket on so you can see his, uh, his arm waving at you um, this usually causes hoots of laughter when I do this as a lecture demonstration and um, it's an effect called resonance um, and if you can imagine if Bjork was a helicopter pilot and he was being shaken at that frequency, the resonant frequency of his, um, his arms, he'd be struggling to, f to actually fly the helicopter at all. So um, resonance, really important um, principle in physics, but I always like to share it with the teddy bear and show how his arm uh, vibrates, absorbing energy really well from the loudspeaker at one specific frequency, its natural frequency. So I hope you enjoyed that experiment and uh, Bjork will wave goodbye to you. See you next time.